What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be working on our Dodge Ram. We have a lot of stuff to put back together, but before we get started on that, I wanna announce we do have some new Mustang shirts on the website right now at vtune.com. So if you want one, go ahead and copy one. A little sneak peek on the Mustang. It is looking good. We got most of the front end just mocked up, but now let's get to work on our Dodge Ram. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually head to the junkyard because I totally forgot we do need some door handles. These right here on the old door were just completely ripped off. So we need two door handles, maybe a mirror if they have one, and also a back glass because on the rear door it actually destroyed the entire glass. And we are also gonna need to grab this mechanism right here. And I'm pretty sure there's a couple rams at the junkyard. So let's head over there and see if we can get these parts. So we're heading to the junkyard right now. It's like 10 minutes from the shop, which is pretty cool. And we're driving the Nissan GTR. What do you guys think if we do some uh, horsepower upgrades to it? I'm thinking maybe some bigger turbos, maybe lower it down a little bit. What do you guys think? Drop some comments down below and I'll catch you guys at the junkyard. So we made it to the junkyard and we found exactly the door handle we need. It's on this car, but as you can see, there's like trucks stacked up right there. So we're gonna go ahead and get this door handle off. So we got one door handle off and now we actually need to find a rear door that has a good glass. So let's continue searching. So we got one of the door handles from a truck all the way over there and then we found this other truck with a good glass and a good door handle. But I don't think we're gonna be able to get to it because it is kind of crunched right here. So we're gonna try to maybe get the glass out. If we can't, we're gonna have to find a different truck. So we couldn't get the door handle off the truck all the way over there, but we did have the door handle off this one. The problem is this door is the shorter one. So all we're gonna do is grab the door handle off of it because that's obviously the same. And then we'll see you guys at the shop. So we got everything we needed. We have the two door handles, the locking mechanism, and also these little rubber pieces. Now let's head back to the shop. So we made it back to the shop, and what we're gonna do is go ahead and disassemble these door handles. It's really simple to do. There's a rivet right here that you have to drill out, and then we can take it apart and sand all the ins and outs of it and get them painted. So we got both door handles nice and stripped down. We're gonna go ahead and sand them, throw some primer on them, and get them painted.
So we got all these pieces nice and painted in here. We actually have to repaint this piece. This is the front filler piece because we had it hanging up and I didn't get the bottom with clear coat, but since we laid it flat, I was able to clear coat it really nice. Now let's go ahead and start putting all the pieces that we have on the truck together. So what we're gonna start off with is disassembling our old front bumper when you get all these bolts off of it and we have all new brackets. So let's go ahead and get this bumper stripped down. So we got everything off the front bumper. We got all the sensors. Now what we're gonna have to do is actually make a template. We're gonna have to trace these holes under our new bumper because we don't actually have parking sensors. We couldn't get one with parking sensors and it was a lot cheaper without them. So what we're gonna do is grab a piece of cardboard, basically just make a template right here and then cut a hole in it and then we'll drill new holes in our new bumper. So we got all our templates drawn out. Now let's go ahead and get the new bumper and start drilling some holes. So we got all the sensor holes drilled and the sensors in. Now what we're gonna do is start putting all the brackets on the back and the fog lights. So let's go ahead and reassemble this bumper. So we got the entire bumper reassembled. Now what we need to do is actually put all the brackets that we're missing in the front and get the headlights on and we can slap this bumper on.
so we got this headlight on and as you can tell this is actually a different style of headlight than over here this is the baser model headlights with the black inside but we did decide to go ahead and upgrade them these are like the laramie style or the highest class style so let's go ahead and take this one off and swap it out with the new one So we get the entire truck together in the front. We got the bumper on the grill. Both headlights are on. It looks absolutely amazing. Love the style of this grill right here. This is the limited grill. And we also went ahead and threw in the fender liner right here. And that's gonna be pretty much it on the front. Now let's go ahead and get started on the doors. So we're gonna get started on buffing these doors. I got my brother, he's gonna be helping me. He actually has a YouTube channel too. It's called Motorhead Co. They do a bunch of cool custom car builds on there. So go ahead and check them out. What we're gonna do now is start off with a 1500 grit sandpaper with the block and then we're gonna move up to a 2500 and then a 3000 and then we'll polish it all out and make it look really good. So let's get to sanding. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean all these panels with some bug and tar wax, get all the little nibs off of them before we actually start. All right, we got it taped up. Let's get to sanding. All right, so we got both doors sanded and clean and the fender too, and we got all our equipment laid out, so we're gonna start cutting and buffing. Let's get to work. Safety first.
So my brother got it all buffed out and it turned out really nice. The shine of this clear is just amazing. So big shout out to my brother, Motorhead, took care of it. So go ahead and check out his channel too. They do some cool stuff. Now let's go ahead and start reassembling these doors. So we have the old door right here and what we're gonna do is basically transfer everything from this door onto here. So let's go ahead and start taking this one apart. So we got the front door all together. We got the window in and the entire door panel. Everything works exactly how it should. And we are still missing the mirror. We did order a non-folding one. So we have to send that one back and actually get the power folding one. I did not know that at the time. But now we're gonna go ahead and start taking apart the old rear door and start swapping everything into this door. So we got both doors back together, everything lined up beautifully. We got all the door panels on. Surprisingly, a lot of the stuff was good out of the other doors, even though they were pretty destroyed. We got this one all back together. We are missing this little strip right here and the mirror, obviously, which we will get in the next video. This truck will be 100% complete. But if you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and hit that like button, drop a subscribe, and head over to vtune.com if you want to copy some pretty cool shirts that we have on there. And also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram. Thanks for watching.